Hello, my name is Tim Taylor. I lead Youth Church and the Youth Ministry out of Highfield Church in Southampton. And welcome to our Luminosity series looking at Sustain. This series is all about how do you sustain your faith outside of those big, amazing events and festivals like New Wine. How do you sustain your faith all year round? And in this particular video, we're going to be exploring how being a part of a community helps you sustain your faith. How does being part of a church, a youth group, a small group, how does that help you in sustaining your faith all year round? But I want to start by asking you a question first. How do you think your faith would look if it was only those big events? If there was nothing in between, what do you think your faith would look like? We posed this question to some young people and here is what they thought. Obviously like new wine and everything, um, they're so incredible moments. But if I didn't have the youth groups in between to kind of keep me going through that, I think I would struggle a lot more with my personal faith. Uh, I think you'll feel a lot more disconnected, not going to the extra bits like um, youth every, every week. Coming to church every week is very helpful because you get reminded of God every week. The thing about doing it on your own is that you just don't have the energy always to keep yourself going. Yeah, I think at some point I'd just be like, well, if it only happens once every year, why is it worth it anymore? I feel like it'd have some key, like keyholes missing, like some important information wouldn't be there. Like you wouldn't know so much and like trust God as much and love Him as much. When we look at the life of Jesus, He did so much in community. Now, don't get me wrong. There are so many moments where Jesus takes Himself away to a solitary place in order to pray. But there's also so many stories where he is eating with the disciples, where they are traveling together. That group of 12, the disciples, they did almost everything together. I wonder if you've ever spent so much time with somebody that you begin to imitate them. Perhaps you start to dress the same, or you use the same phrases, or you have that in-joke that only the two of you know. This so often is what happens when we're in community. The people that we surround ourselves with shapes us and so there's something so valuable about surrounding yourself with other people that are journeying in the same way the other people that are trying to follow Jesus it helps us it encourages us and it shapes us there's a really interesting story in John chapter 21 this story comes right at the end of John's gospel Jesus has died on the cross he's come back to life and appeared to the disciples And yet what we see in John 21 is that the disciples, Simon Peter included, have gone back to Galilee. They've gone back to their fishing boats. It's almost like without Jesus being there, they return to what they know. And what they know is being fishermen. They go back to their old way of doing things. They go back to their old lives. And it takes Jesus interrupting them to say, no, that's not what I've called you to. I've called you to be, I've called you to be a part of a different community. I've called you to live in a different way. The people that we surround ourselves with have such an influence on us. And that's why it's so hard to journey as a Christian on your own and so important to be a part of a community. But why? Why is it important to be a part of a community? Why does it make a difference to any individual in journeying their faith to be a part of a youth group or a church? We asked some young people this question and here are their answers. think it's helpful to know that you're not alone. There are other people who have taken the same journey. It's around people you enjoy spending time with, and people that you can relate to, and you can just talk about whatever um, with them. Obviously at school it's very, there's like so much pressure going on at the moment, and, and like you have to be someone, someone else, and I feel like coming to youth is a great end to my week and it really helps me with my faith to to just to connect with God. It helps me because I know that I'm not like doing it kind of alone because you know that like other people with the same faith are there and that's quite helpful. I think it's like being part of um, youth has just helped me a lot um, because it's like it's a safe place to share your faith and share like how you're feeling like what's going on in your life really. One of the things is your 
every like weekly or two times a week you're always with Jesus and you're spending time with Jesus? Um, for me it's really helpful to be around people my own age so it's like more of a community, more of a family. Well it's not like a one-off thing, it's quite continuous so it's not like you just go one week then you learn about it and then you forget about it. It's like it's really cemented in, it's quite good. You see, faith isn't meant to be something you struggle through on your own. Yes, there are personal elements to our faith, like praying and reading our Bible. These can be done on our own. But faith is meant to be lived through community. By being part of a community, whether that's a church or a youth group or a small group, by being part of an, a community, we receive encouragement. We are able to gather together. We are able to journey together, to share the things that we're struggling with, to praise and thank God for all these exciting things that are happening. Faith is meant to be lived through a community. I just want to encourage you to find a community of believers wherever you are. Maybe for you that looks like a church, maybe for you it looks like finding a youth group, maybe it just looks like finding a small group of friends that you can journey together with. I want to encourage you that if you're not part of a community that supports you and encourages you in your faith, then go and find one. If you're not sure how to find a church or a youth group, then start by looking around your local area. What churches do you pass all the time? Chances are, if they have a group for young people, it will be somewhere on the website. And a quick Google search, you'll find your answers you're looking for. They might even have an Instagram account or a YouTube channel or a Facebook page. That's another great way to get involved. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you in how to sustain your faith into the next year, how to find community and to get involved in a youth group. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Why not put a comment below? and subscribe to Luminosity for more incredible content.